All right, everybody. Well, that's embarrassing. Okay, let's try that one more time. Welcome everybody to 11th PHP tutorial and I guess I should now speak my name as well and which channel is doing this video so as to avoid that uh, black risk means you know people these days are finding new ways to steal content online so from now onwards I'll be giving a little introduction about this channel uh, not introduction but just the name so let's try it one more time so hello everybody this is Mehul from codedam.com and in this tutorial what we'll be learning about PHP is break and continue statements now in the last tutorial we looked at what loops are in PHP and how to work with them but in the last tutorial I hope you guys remember I told you that even this loop syntax is valid but this code right here under this would run infinite times well obviously that's not physically possible but it would run as long as your hardware allows it to so how to deal with that let's say you want um, a loop to run as many times or you want a loop to run infinite times but you want to give a certain condition inside the if to bring it out so what is that well that is a break statement now break statement would jump out of your for loop or your while loop or your do while loop as soon as it is encountered so let's say I have the statement I equal to 1 and let's say I type for since we have already initialized that I is less than or I is not equal to 11 let's say I plus plus and inside this I do echo I now this would print I from 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 we have already seen that but let's say somehow I want to stop whenever I is 7 let's say so one way I have is if I is less than 7 less than or equal to 7 then I want to do like this so what it does is eventually it would check that if I is less than or equal to 7 this would echo I then only but this would create a kind of memory loss to your program because when the statement when the I is not when the I becomes 8 even then this loop is running so that eats some sort of memory and in bigger loops when you're iterating over hundreds and thousands of elements then this becomes a huge performance issue so to overcome this what we can do is we can make use of something called break statement so let's say I want to break out of this loop whenever I is 7 so what I'll do is if I equals to 7 <coughs> break now what it does is when we are running this loop the control is here right here the cursor where the cursor is blinking so control comes to next line checks this condition for i equals to 1 this is not true skips over it comes here and then goes again here as long as the condition meant so it comes here goes here comes here goes here and it's incrementing i as well obviously so once i is 7 this condition is matched and it goes inside this block of code and it encounters this break statement now break statement would bring out this the control right here af after the for loop which is just like here so any statement ab after this the control would immediately be called here so any of the rest iterations which were left would be left forever so let's take a look at this program in the browser let's reload this so you see that we got one two three four five six seven only and had I placed this echo under this can you guess what would be the output well we won't get seven because before in the previous case what we used what we were doing is we were first of all echoing the I then we were checking what it was but here we are first of all checking what it is and then we are echoing that so similarly what you can do is 
we can omit this condition as well and I can write if i is 11 then break out so this would work similar to the original loop and even you could just do it like that and increment it below so you see that we got rid of all the three expressions and we created them inside the loop body itself similarly with the while one or I guess I should talk about continue first so just like break let me get back a little bit in time so just like we have break we have something called continue now continue would technically um, skip the iteration so what that means is let's say I have echo wow here as well and let's just give it a new line so that it is not messy so continue what continue would do is that it would just um, skip that particular iteration so I guess if I do wow and this all together then it would be much more meaningful for you so I'll just should just remove this so let's run this in the browser and as you can see we got wow 1 wow 2 3 4 5 6 but no 7 now why not 7 is because once I was 7 I passed in continue so continue what it does is the control which was here which was about to go on next line when encountered continue skipped the iteration and went back to the for expression all these three expressions and the i was incremented the condition was checked and then the loop ran again so you see that there's a huge difference in break and continue the break brings you out of loop whereas continue keeps you inside the loop but just increments the iteration so similar thing could be done in the while loop as well so let's say if I say while 1 is 1 which is obviously true this would always be true that 1 is equal to 1 so instead of this you could also write like while true is true or just while true so all that makes sense while 1 while 2 while 3 all of that would work but not while 0 because we have 0 as false which we would be learning in um, few tutorials so what we can do is while 1 is 1 so echo echo i and I could say if i is equal to 10 break and here we would increment the i so let's reload this so you see that we got 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so similarly this thing could be done in do while as well and I hope you guys can now do that yourself in do while so that's kind of your assignment for today so do that and let me know what the outcome was and that's it for this tutorial so don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching I'll see you next time